First things first, we gotta turn the heat all the way up. We're gonna do deadlifts, we're gonna do box jumps, so we need to get our bodies warm. I want a nice sweat. Um, I don't want my knees to be all crusty and rusty. I want them to be warm and loose and ready to go. Second order of business is let's talk about the best shoes you could be wearing for knee pain. The best shoes you could wear for knee pain. Now, a lot of people who watch my channel deal with knee pain because they're doing vertical jump training, they're doing squat training, deadlifts, some runners watch my channel, a lot of basketball players watch my channel, a lot of athletes watch my channel. So, on your journey of becoming the best athlete that you can be, your knees are going to get worse and worse and worse over time. So you need to take care of them as you grow and as you get older because there's some 14, 15, 16 year olds, there's some young kids who watch my channel who think they're going to be young forever and while you are young right now, as you get older, you're going to need to take better care of your knees. So if, you're, you, if you do have knee pain, I will link a video down below, you must watch it. It is on how to cure patellar tendonitis, how to cure runner's knee, jumper's knee, um, and it is super, super important for you as an athlete. Um, but let's talk about the shoes you can be wearing to also assist in not getting that knee pain. Um, so for myself, I do a lot of jump training. I do a lot of running, jumping, squatting, deadlifting. I do a lot of working out. I am also a gym teacher. So 40 hours a week, I am on my feet. I am I'm walking around. I'm teaching lessons. I play basketball with the kids a lot of the time. So I'm and I'm, I'm, in, I'm in two basketball leagues, like I do a lot of activity. I'm very active, so I need to take care of my knees and of my feet, because I'm walking around all day, every day. So the best shoes that you could be wearing for knee pain are, and stay with me because I have two pairs here to show you, because these, these in my hands, they're not pretty, okay? They're, they're, they're kind of ugly, but they do help with the knee pain. So these are my old pair of shoes. They are the Hoka, what are they? The Bondi, Bondi 5 model. These are Hoka's. Now, um, I apologize if you have a pair of these and you think these look good, but for me, I think, I think these are not a good looking shoe. I think these are ugly, they're not, they're not Yeezys. They're not LeBrons, they're not KDs, they're not Nikes, they're not Adidas. These are, um, but they're, they're very good, they're very expensive running shoes. Um, and if you take a look here, they are extremely thick. So you have so much padding for your feet, so much padding for your knees, almost two to like two and a half inches of padding right here, probably like two inches. I will put a link down below in the description to Amazon if you want to get these. These, these make my feet feel better. These make my knees feel better. Um, and these are, once again, the Bondi 5 model. Now, I do have the Bondi Bondi six version and they are all black now these are not nearly as ugly you can i can blend these in um most people don't don't really know the difference most people ain't thinking about you and your shoes and what they look like anyway they're thinking about themselves so i like these ones better because they're all black i could just wear some black nike socks some joggers with them um, but once again look how thick the heel is right here okay you got two inches two and a half inches of padding right here okay and this is what they look like on the inside these are like if you shut the lights off these are like reflective if you're like running at night so th this part's reflective this is reflective so they look kind of cool but all black um i like these a lot and those are the shoes that i personally use for knee pain and i um got them off amazon.com you can also get them off hoka.com you can also get them at rei which is like an outdoorsy store and those are the ones that feel the best for me those are the shoes that i wear on a normal basis to help with my knee pain and with my feet because my feet hurt as a gym teacher walking around all day every day so that's what i do but we need to get into our squats and deadlifts so here we go let's make some gains you just gotta, 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 gotta Let's break it. 
God that the brothers on the rise now. Endless celebrations all in my house. Yeah. Levitating now, I'm super duper fly now. Yeah. Love them boy, but they see where I reside now. Put the time in while you always yelling time out. And the critic, cause I know I'm coming with it. You were sitting, you were wishing I was handling my business. Yeah. Now I got the ball like Harry Potter playing Quidditch. And my brother's so humongous, you were thinking that happens in there. Damn man, I'm all that, yeah, I'm all that. I'm all Working that. for that whip, yeah, that what you call that. I'ma blow up in the summer, have him yelling for Tell me where they at though. They at, though? I'm the new pop, all I do is rap though. Yeah. Want me on your song, throw a couple stacks, yo. Woo. Everybody wanna do the same thing. Yup, that's why we ain't on the same page. Yo. Do my own thing, and I maintain. Woo. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. I'm going mainstream. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. Yeah, I'm going mainstream. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. I'm going mainstream. Mainstream Flow like water so I'm going mainstream Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we are currently looking like The abs are still there Even though we are on this bulk Everything is pretty much staying I am getting a little bit heavier My macros are the same this week 260 grams of uh, protein 260 protein 450 carbs 105 Fats. I am trying to get bigger, but I do want to stay lean at the same time. I got somebody coaching me, somebody helping me. So my goal is to be 200 pounds by the end of this lean bulk, but I still want to stay lean. That's the point of a lean bulk. But guys, it is 4, what time is it? 4.21 in the morning. And somebody asked me on my last video, they said, if you go to the gym at 5 and you wake up at 4, what time do you go to sleep? Guys, I go to sleep around 9 o'clock. I try to go to sleep at 9 o'clock. Um, most of the time, I don't make it into bed by, by 9, but I try to get in bed by 9 and asleep by 9. If I can't do that, definitely 10 o'clock. Definitely, I'm not awake by 10 o'clock, guys, um, because sleep is super important. Most people, a lot of people out there when they're trying to be, be successful, a lot of people have the misinformation. They say, I will sleep when I am dead. Guys, you're going to die pretty soon if you do not get your sleep and you won't be able to maximize your day without sleep. It's not about how little you sleep or how much you sleep. It's about how much you get done each day and you cannot maximize your day unless you get enough sleep. So one trick that I do to wake up is I have this amino energy right here. I actually put this in my bedroom and I... I, I I put the water up there and I put the aminos up there and as soon as I wake up in the morning I put my alarm across the room so that I am not it, my alarm is not right next to me my alarm is way across the room so as soon as my alarm goes off I am forced to get up out of bed I walk all the way across the room and then I fill up either my pre-workout or my amino energy and at that point and then I take a couple sips I take a couple gulps at that point if you go back to sleep you are just a scrub and you do not deserve to make the gains. But all right, guys, it is Wednesday morning and we got a chest workout, so let's go. Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history, yeah. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy. When we're in too deep, and you and I, we got history. Yeah
symphony And you and I, we got history, yeah, yeah And when you're alone, do you say my name? Or you say her name? 